This is Rick Sparber, and I'm here to demonstrate my latest uh, electronic edge finder for the lathe. Uh, it's similar to the other one in that it's inside an Altoid box, but electrically it's vastly different. This one is completely self-calibrating, and it works uh, for all the different lathes that I've used it on. Uh, and my calculations say that it can work down to about five thousandths of an ohm and it can detect a change due to touchdown of 160 micro ohms. So all of you that have those uh, industrial quality lathes that when you put your ohm meter on there it looks like a dead short, this circuit might work for you. Now I'm using a, a Atlas Craftsman here and it's got a fairly large resistance but this circuit still works for it. So in this case uh, you can see that I have a cutter on a quick change two post and let's say I've already established that this is, I've already cut this once and I haven't taken it out of the chuck so that surface is concentric and is clean it's my reference circuit but I changed the tool and now I want to get back on that same point and zero my dial so the tool is right on the surface. So first thing I do is I take off my probes. These probes are what are called Kelvin connections. There's a total of four connections here. There's each of these probes has two conductive pads. There's a magnet inside each one. And to use it, I simply put one probe on the chuck see it right there. The other one, it can be on the cutter or anywhere else except the spindle. And you can see here that the power on light is on, the touchdown light is off, and as I feed in, the touchdown light will turn on. There you go. And it will stay on until the circuit has recalibrated, and then it will shut off. Now on such a large uh, resistance change as on this lathe, you can see it took a long time. Uh, so it's, it's plenty of time for you to notice that you touch down. On a lathe that, ha that would have closer to five thousandths of an ohm, it flashes a minimum of a tenth of a second. Still quite readable. So I feed in, turns the light on, I then zero my uh, dial, and come back and test to make sure that I'm okay. So right there I'm a thou away, half a thou, there I'm right on. You can see the light lights. So now take this off and let's say I want to change cutters again. So I put on a different cutter and I want to pick up that same surface. Just take out my uh, electronic edge finder, slap it on there, and I can feed in. There's my touchdown. So reset the dial to zero, and I'm now ready to be back on that same surface. Now, here's one that uses kind of tricky to do without this circuit. There's a boring bar. Now, what if I want to pick up the surface inside here? I can't see it. Well, I can see it with this electronic edge finder. I again just put it on there and as I move my cutter up right there. So, do one more time. I feed in until the light lights and now I've got zeroing on the inside bore at any depth I want. When I take the probes off, they go back on the back of the unit on this piece of insulating tape that turns off power. There's no on-off switch that you have to mess with because it's the first thing you forget to turn off. So that's this new electronic edge finder. It's self-compensating. There's nothing to adjust. Once you get it set up for your shop, but there is an adjustment 
for ambient electrical noise. If you're in a very noisy environment, then there is uh, an adjustment that has to be made inside to compensate for that. And as you might expect, the more you turn it to be immune to noise, the less sensitive it is to touchdown. So there probably is some situation out there where the electrical noise in the shop is so high that this circuit wouldn't work. I've only tried it in two different shops and in both cases it worked fine. Uh, there's uh, more detail about this circuit on my website, rick.sparber.org. If you look in the machining area and look under lathe attachments, you'll find a uh, detailed explanation of how this works. And uh, feel free to contact me uh, at rgsparber at aol.com if you have any questions. Thank you.